What's up everybody, it's Darkson here, and it's been a while since I've made a video, but, um, you know, it's been really busy. Anyway, today what I'm going to be doing is a brief, I guess it's just an explanation of, of what I've done, sort of like a tutorial, um, on how to make an input device that basically makes a sort of a clone of Angry Birds um, that I've done with the help of, um, I believe, I've forgotten the guy's name, Abhinav Gupta. I think it is um, and he made a tutorial on how to make the game and I've basically sort of created a an input device for it using an Arduino a force touchpad and a potentiometer um, that I'm busy manipulating at the moment um, so let's let's hop right into it so what I've started doing is uh, basically creating um, this device by I don't know. Uh, I I just I just went by as I understand how circuits are. You know, Arduino is really simple device. It's crazy, um, the amount of stuff you can do by you know just just tweaking a couple of things and putting stuff on it. It's, it's awesome. Um, so basically, what I've done is create a little bit of a program here that just reads in uh, the input from the potentiometer into the analog port. Uh, that's a zero, and the force pad into a one. Um, I'll include a sketch on how to make the the circuit. It's very simple. I mean, like if you can figure out how to put one thing and you can figure out how to put them all in. I've put them in in series, which gives me a couple of problems. You'll see um, as I'm turning up a potentiometer that eventually um, the second row here is picking up input as well. So if I turn that up all the way to 1023, I think is the max. And at 1023, I'm getting a bit of variance. So it goes goes all the way up to about 17, 18, um, which is a bit of a false reading. But honestly, like that, that is such a negligible amount that you're probably not going to notice it. I do make um, adjustments for that later on. And then over here, it's just how to read them in. Pretty simple. And then I just print it out into a line so that it prints out these little lines over here that I can then use for input in Unity. Um, and I've set up my Unity game over here. Um, I've basically taken almost the exactly exactly the same game from the tutorial. I include I'll include a link to his tutorial as well in the description. It's basically exactly the same, except the way in which I use the input. So um, he would use Q and E to rotate the uh, the little player over here, which is basically the bird. And then uh, and then he'd use spacebar to charge up an amount that would fire into you know these little blocks over here and move them around. And then, um, yeah, that would that would knock them over. So, what I've done is use the potentiometer to rotate the little player, and then the force pad to uh, determine how much force I'm going to be for, like shooting these little guys into them. So let's just have a quick demo here. Um, I think I have the player selected over there, um, and so if I turn up, okay, wait, hang on. Let me just close this here because this is going to cause some problems. Restart that so that I can open up the port. Check the console. It says that the port is open. I'll show you the code in a moment as soon as I'm done here. Um, and you should see my Y force increasing. Now the Y force goes all, all the way up to about 511.5. And um, that's just about half the amount of what the potentiometer goes up to. And you're probably not going to need more than that anyway because as far as I know, um, it just goes over it if you shoot over it anyway. So let's just give a quick little demo, just a light tap. And you'll see that um, tapping on the little force pad sends it flying. I did it a couple of times. Um, I could do it really lightly. And turn it down all the way. And do, it, do it really lightly and it's just going to bounce a little bit. Or um, I could tap the heck out of this thing. And you'll see it flying. You know, So it goes with quite a lot, quite a lot of force if you tap it really hard. And uh, and yeah, that's basically that's basically it. Um, let me just show you the code so you guys can understand what my uh, what my logic behind all of this was. It's um, I guess the code is a little bit complicated. Just at first glance, there's a couple of things um, like just the way in which I use all of my um, variables and stuff is a little bit confusing. But most of that stuff actually really just comes from uh, Abadab's video. Um, and it's all really, it's all explained really well there. The, the, I guess the most difficult thing is really taking the, uh, the information from my Arduino 
um, input and then putting that into Unity. And for that, you need to open up a, a connection. And I have all of the code down over here, which basically just opens up the, the connection. I mean, it, it doesn't get much more, much, much more simple than that. You just have uh, your COM3 over here. You have to decide which, which COM port you're going to be using. And that's usually determined by your Arduino when you plug it in. And then uh, you set your COM port as well as your input speed. Um, make sure that, 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 that that's exactly the same as it is in your code over here. See this little number over there. Make sure that's exactly the same number. And then when you do put it all together, um, this is basically the code that reads in the string amount, the strings that I send from my Unity, from my Arduino, excuse me, into Unity, which I read through the port. And, um, and then I basically translate um, that string into a into a float that's then usable, and then that gives me my force, which I'm going to be using. Uh, all that eventually goes into this, and then that goes up into uh, what basically determines where the little cube goes and how fast it goes. Um, so it's it's not really complicated. You guys are welcome to use my code for this thing and just go through it. I'll uh, I'll include another couple of seconds of demo of me um, of me messing around with this thing. All right, good luck. All right, so what we have here is uh, is the little machine. I basically have the potentiometer glued to the top here, and uh, over here is a little bit of a... Here's the, the force pad is underneath this, but there's a little bit of padding just to cover it and uh, and dampen the force because um, it's, it's pretty sensitive. Uh, it maxes out quite easily. And then uh, if we have a look at the game, while it is running, um, if I adjust my potentiometer over here, uh, it increases the amount over there, so just keep twisting this little knob, and then uh, let's say I leave it at about, um, let's say 200, and I aim that bad boy, it's ready, um, and I just go ahead and tap, it's going to launch him. So yeah, that's pretty much what it does, um, I'm just going to keep forcing it. Depending on how hard you tap it, obviously, uh, that it's going to make it go harder. So, if I give it a decent, uh, decent college try, uh, it forces it quite hard. Excellent. There you go.